Hey guys, welcome back to all children not included. Clay's amazing space colony simulator extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy and we are back in the Rock for the Brains, a collection of asteroids. These asteroids, in fact, way out in the wilds of space, containing 16 duplicates trying to make their way into the future as comfortably as possible. And there are many things, many, many things that are making our duplicates discomforted. One of which is this little sulfur line that we've got going here. And I think maybe we can take steps to actually make this a little bit better. The problem that happens over here is this area has got itself very, very warm from exposure to all of the magma. This whole cavern here was filled up with magma, which means that we've got ladders that are at a thousand degrees or so. And as you can see, our duplicates come past and they grab, us, grab themselves a little bit of sulfur. They bring it down to the farms that are over here. This does mean, unfortunately, sometimes some duplicates have managed to drop stuff next to ladders that are hundreds of degrees above its melting point. If we have a look at the sulfur over over here we can see it's melting point is a mere 115 degrees celsius and th there's like a thousand degrees here like an actual thousand degrees so it's time to start trying to uh, to fix this somehow uh, we have talked in the past about trying to get a shipping container down here and i think this might be the way that we are going to do it this time i'm not entirely certain let's have a look at the uh, the power line here if we've got power we do we do we have we have the ability to run power up and into there that is particularly nice uh, and then if we come to the shipping, we also want to convey a loader and we're going to pop that I pressed the wrong button. Let's try again. And we're going to pop that underneath here. I think this way around is the way I want. We're going to grab some conveyor rails. Yep, uh, copper seems fine. And we're just going to take ourselves the long way around. I was waiting, uh, really trying to wait for the magma to actually be completely emptied out. I think at this point we can come down and go around all of this mess down here. Wow, we've got a lot of mess down here. But I was really waiting for the magma to be emptied out so that we could drop the sulfur straight down through this line here this is this is where i want it to go i want it to come into this area but unfortunately what's going on here this this doesn't look like it's doing anything we'll have to figure that out at some point uh, but unfortunately that, that just wasn't really going to happen was it we were just waiting far far too long if i come up here and then maybe just drop it there that looks like a good place to have a conveyor chute this is where all our sulfur is going to get dropped off but you might notice you might notice that we are lacking a mechatronics engineer thankfully we do have one over here uh their name is Franklin. That's Curie. Let's try and find Franklin. Okay, here's Franklin over here. Currently storing materials and then idle. This, this sounds perfect to me. Unfortunately, the materials that they're storing are ones that we need over at the other base, but other people are getting involved there. What's being moved at that point? Iron ore. What a great material to be shifting off. Uh, I would like Franklin to go that way, please. Really, I'm after the phosphorite. Wait, 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 wait. The phosphorite over here. Really, I, I want this stuff to be moved, but people have got stuff other stuff to move plank what are you what are you doing that's so hot is he carrying if i oh, we can't we can't click straight i've really got to report this as a bug if you follow the notification through it won't let you click on the person look at that 800 degree igneous rock i, I should imagine that's what's causing the scolding there but he's just gonna dump it in the critter feeder and then everything's gonna equal out to 100 degrees that's better right anyway we should over on uh Pyaxlin have franklin wait 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 down here at the channel porter ready to roll let's get going back over to uh reversing the first asteroid that reversing is the first one Pyaxlin here the second one and then we uh went out off into the wilds of space to go find uh, both blagolia and irigal dabblings here because of a bug it's it's horrific look there's there's, there's no information here. We, we haven't been here. There's nothing to see, but we, we're just stuck with it in the list. <laughs> But thankfully, now we've lost all the notifications that um, that were up here beforehand uh, because Franklin can actually go around and do all of the jobs now. Great. Okay, with Franklin getting on with that particular set of orders, let us... Oh, man, I really hope the uh, tiles are going to get done first before the rail. I see that it does pop up on Kelvin's little list here. My dude, you are... You're beaten up and not very good in here. Well, where are you even going? Supplying operational materials. You're going, whoa, whoa, whoa. Where are you going? Oh, hello, what's going on over here? This? Okay, yeah, actually, that's that's fine. You can totally get that. Do we not have a beacon? I feel like we should have a beacon. Okay, targeting beacon out of rocketry. This was not what I was just about to do, but we're, we're going to do it anyway. Can, do, we have, do, do we even have... The amount of steel necessary here. I think so. 
Okay, something like that. It, we, we have still got a lot of steel left. That's good. Probably going to have to be steel as it's 1,000 degrees here. What I was doing, this should hopefully then save Kelvin a bit of running so all the uh, the packages will come down on top of this targeting beacon. But that's going to take a little while to do. So let's go and have a look over on Irrigal. Over Irrigal, the world with the, uh, the, the water tank prone to breaking and, of course, all of the nuclear bees. We need to expand this area out. I, it's time that we started ripping this this entire area down here and started getting a whole bunch of steam turbines put into place maybe across the top here I reckon we can get four here and then maybe four down here because it is time well it's getting on for time we're not quite there but we're getting on for time for the research reactor and I'd like to empty this area this is all relatively nice temperatures around here so we don't have to worry so much about just ripping it apart there is a steam geyser to worry about uh, but I think mostly we need just need to move the bees we, we've, we've already got a little area for them here, but how about how about some more area? I, th I think that's probably a good idea. Whoa, a little bit of chunk there, but that's fine. I have noticed that the game seems a little more unstable this time. Just literally since loading up today, there seems to be a bit more of a frame rate issue than there ever was before. And I uh, I wonder if it's something that I can fix. There's, there's a lot of sweep orders that need to happen, but these are all things that that can be happening in the background. Yeah, I don't know. This this could be making a difference, but is it really? <laughs> Okay, so this little bit of neutronium that sticks out here, if we put our research reactor on here, I don't know how big it is, but I'm hoping we can then put... Oh man, I should probably go find out how big it is. Uh, but then we can put a whole bunch of steam turbines maybe across the top here. I think this is probably... It won't let me put these here because of these ladders. Let's deconstruct the ladders. Uh, but then we can probably go ahead and uh, just start putting these areas in place here. I can't put them even here even because of these ladders as well. How thoroughly disappointing that I didn't think about this ahead of time uh, and eventually the fourth will probably end up over here one two three four and then we can call this area out beautiful I think we're probably gonna have to do the thing that I've been trying to avoid doing just coring this whole area out. I really do uh, like I don't like taking the uranium by uh, by hand when the duplicates dig it they lose half the materials uh, it's not it's not ideal it's really not ideal these uh, these beta hives as you can see come along pick up the materials and take it back to the hive and all i would do with the uranium ore is just to to repurpose it into enriched uranium anyway so yeah i i don't like digging it by hand but here we are doing it anyway i'm not sure what happened i was looking over at reversely making sure this power line was getting put into place and chandra's been taken out i really hope someone's coming along to do it like this is not going to be an errand that we can see here spits are supplying construction material are you kidding me really storing materials is is no one trying to get their friend i bet it's because there's no hospital bed because i had to take it out okay all right this 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 is a problem this is a very bad problem in fact oh it's so very tempting to just throw it here and then go this is very important Let, let's see what happens then okay good work spitzer good work spitzer got the sedimentary rock going down uh can can this be done before that bar runs out though there's the question okay and now errands chandra 2 doesn't say anyone's really carrying her mm, this is not ideal hubble uh rescue friend all right good good work hubble good work you you have been our savior many 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 times and it looks like you're doing it again so randomly out of nowhere the bees attack Chandra I'm, I'm not sure why I'm not entirely sure why like the bees are supposed to be aggressive and I've been very confused by the fact that they've not been attacking me so I'm not I'm not overly like upset that it has happened more than it didn't happen before now and what and, and look Spitz is fine I, I don't I don't know well there's none of the flying around things up here is there at the moment well we, we've got Chandra well lit having a having a rest that that's fine that's fine let's go back to reversing see, see how they're doing with getting the wires put in place they're not not amazing to be honest
Oh, also, we've got ourselves a whole bunch of carbon dioxide in here. I don't know where this came from either. Somehow it's come out of the corner here. Do we have... Is, this is petroleum. That's sulfur. Yeah, I, I don't know how the gases made it past, but somehow the carbon dioxide has made its way in here as well. I think I might just open the door back up again. Should we turn this into a door? If we deconstruct that... De in fact, we're going to deconstruct all of these, but then we're going to put a door up in its place and maybe have a little flip switch somewhere. Maybe a gas element sensor. If there's any anything other than none, open the door. <laughs> Okay, it's atmospheric sensor automation wire. We're, we're just gonna we're gonna get ready for a door being put into place here. <laughs> it's a real shame we didn't get to watch that. I've, I'm yet to see the bees attack. Uh, that that would have been cool. Where where are you supplying construct? Ah, to this liquid vent. In fact, I need one of those under each of these. There's also going to be another one here. But unfortunately, we ran out of plastic. So uh, over on Pyaxlin, back up the top here, uh, I've asked for plastic to be delivered. None has at the moment. Interesting. Should we just should we just get that happening? There's Von Braun, there's Maxwell. I mean, that, that's good enough, right? Well, it wasn't a great deal, but there, there's some that is now going to be ready in the interplanetary launcher, loaded via the conveyor loader, the loading rails in the background, uh, and then straight into the launcher. As soon as we get 200, there it goes. I was going to say, as soon as we get 200 kilos, it will send that out, and then that fired that off a bullet. We can now trace that bullet. Hello? There, oh, there it is. Okay, okay, for that. We were looking at the wrong place. This bullet will now come up towards Irigal. Nice, from Pyaxlin to Irigal. It's going to take a little while, 0.3 cycles, a third of a cycle. Uh, but in that time, maybe we'll get more stuff done. Whilst we're here, I'm also going to move this whole room up just one. We're going to put in the insulated tiles all the way across the bottom. We're going to move all of the farm tiles up. We could probably even get the... No, no, we can't get them any closer together. That is the width they need to be. Widen this place out and maybe even put a small hydrogen pump at the top so we can start collecting the hydrogen from here because we are about to have a problem. There's 13 kilograms of hydrogen here. They're, that's just going to overflow straight into there, isn't it? Uh, let's try and get this uh, pretty high priority if we can uh hopefully the hydrogen won't all just flow out it looks like we're doing okay 12 kilograms first two yeah we definitely need to get a way to burn this hydrogen off oh no oh no what did the pips pick up oh they've put random arbor trees in here that that's not what we want not even close to what we want i mean good work pips but no but no <laughs> Okay, trying to get these seeds out here before the uh, before the pips come and have it. It's going to be a problem. Over here, I've got something else I can hit an alarm on, and it should move everything that is... Oh, that's not the button I wanted. Should move all of the seeds that I've swept... Uh, yeah, or that I've marked for sweeping to that particular place there. Okay, turn that down. Okay, this looks good now. Why won't this one plant here? I don't understand. So it planted these two fine. Why? <laughs> maybe the ladder. May maybe the ladder's the problem. Almost definitely the ladder, actually, now that I stop and look at the situation here. Yeah. No, 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 because this ladder's here. I don't know. <laughs> All right, it likes it now. T took the ladder out, that was the case. I, how did this one get planted? Ah, oh, I don't know. And whilst we watch the duplicants deal with a mess of my own creating, I would like to take this moment right here and thank the people that helped me with the messes of my own creating. That's right, my Patreons. Scrolling up the screen right now, you will see a list of names. A list of names of the guys and girls that have gone along to patreon.com forward slash twitchy and made a monthly monetary donation to make sure that me and my channel can continue on into the future as comfortably as possible. Right now, that comfort involves staying cool next to my PC, and these guys have definitely managed to get me a fan for this blisteringly hot weather that we have been uh, uh, dealing with here over in the UK. So from the very, very bottom of my sweaty, sweaty heart, I'm going to say thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, that's all the systems in place. If we come to unbreathable gases, be like, hey, if you detect hydrogen for however long the uh, the filter gate is set for, five seconds, we could probably do a little bit better than that. 150 seconds probably is a much nicer. Uh, make sure that there is constantly hydrogen down and around this pump uh, before it starts blowing all of its materials back. But this will then drop down to the hydrogen generator, and I'm not even bothered about whether there is power 
power in the in the batteries or not. We, we just need to burn the hydrogen. We just need to burn the hydrogen. And it seems to be working out all right for us here. This, of course, will be another system in place for our hydrogen coming out of the uh, the Saturn critter traps here. Oh, the uh, Spitzer seems to have caught himself a bit of a situation here. But actually, I'm all, I'm all right with that because I kind of want to come in from the other side anyway. But we're waiting to build another steam turbine, two in, uh, four in fact, sorry, and uh, actually we can't yet because all of these have been left just to get filled up, which is which is unfortunate. Here's the pla- wait, where's the plastic that we were looking for? There was definitely plastic somewhere here when I was looking last time. Here it is, plastic, 158 grams, and that would take us up to enough to put this one across, but, but pie excellent, what's going on? Why are we not sending more, more plastic across? It doesn't look like there's a great deal in the system right now, and and let's go and have a look down the bottom here. We do have enough on the floor. We've got enough for 10 trips, so I wonder what's going on there. Franklin's having a beautiful time vacationing on the other asteroid here. It's kind of a working vacation because, of course, she does need to build all of their systems over here, but she doesn't have a bed. I, I guess we could deal with that. Uh, we could probably put one of these over here. And oh, I don't know whether we're going to be able to. Look, there's not a great deal of room here. Duplicates can come up around this way. No, this, this is this is a major thoroughfare here. We can't actually do that. Hmm, this is going to cause us some trouble. How about how about if we just drop one here, uh, pull this across and up? Yeah, this this might work. This might work. And then we could put a door down. Ooh, the door. What? Wait. Wait, wait, wait. Why does Boar have restricted access here? Uh, no, no one should have restricted access to any of these doors. Okay, so if we pop all of this down to the same degree as what we did, I can't put one down. What are we missing? A transparent block. Uh, where's, where's all my glass? Let, let's just quickly get a whole bunch of glass made. And whilst that's going on, we've got access to the where where is it? The research reactor. It's not it's not as big as I thought it was gonna be. Let's leave these guys making some glass. Why just come over? Yeah, no, we can we've got loads of plate. We could pop it here. That's probably a bit bit close. But we could put it down here. Yeah, we we could we could definitely keep that up and running over that side. A little more glass being made. We've got 25 on the floor. This should make us another 25. Of course, we pour out the uh, the molten glass here on the the floor it then drops as a liquid and condenses down to this little bead of glass where it then exchanges all its temperatures with the environment around it but that then gives us enough materials to make that little uh, little pot here that i've been trying to do and franklin has decided this is more important than up here oh okay i mean it is her bedroom i can see why she's so so insistent okay with the bedroom now all built as soon as someone can open this door for me you would have thought franklin would have been like yeah I'm, I'm right here i'll open this up for you instead of rutherford coming all the way from the other side of the base to come and open this door but with that done i think what we're going to go do as soon as this pops open here and i put that back on a five we're going to go over to Irigal, and i'm just gonna i mean we're not even going to put it down where i can use it i just want to slam this down so i can see some various things like does it take power oh, we, we won't know like it takes water okay that that's cool does it take a it doesn't take a um a, a shipping in port how does the uranium get in there do i have to use duplicates to put it in that that would be uh awkward <laughs> Okay, it took a while, but finally, four turbines down. Man, we need to get another four running down here, kill the bees, and then put the research reactor down. That's that's still a lot of stuff to do, and I haven't even figured out how I'm getting the steam vent involved. Uh, I'm like several times over an idiot with this project. I, I'm not, I think I can come out and admit that. This this is one, I don't have the materials for this. We can, we can fix that, though. We can fix that over at the star map. I mean, not only is Pyaxin going to have to go over, but we, we also have a copper ore field uh, over here. Well, it's a sandy ore field, but it's got some copper in it. We're also going to get a bunch of algae, sandstone, and sand. Always good stuff to be having. Uh, but we, the, we, we can't keep the research reactor all the way down here. It is going to make a duplicate toasting amount of radiation, and we really need to, to uh, harness that. Now, we can harness it down here. We could put, put a whole bunch of Radbolt generators down here and ping it around and bring it up here, or we could put our reactor right here. Uh, I mean, we could easily, let's just uh, grab a base, uh, drywall. Oh, oh, of course, suddenly there's 
there's decisions to be made. I think I'm just going to go for white for now. We can we can always replace it. There's, there's always ways of replacing it. Uh, but then we could just like, uh, we, we, we're going to have to rip all of this down here. Uh, and of course, then the, uh, the research reactor, the research reactor should go somewhere around here in line with all of this rad bolt generator setup that we've got. We could probably even move it all over here. Uh, then maybe move the uh, the power over this side because we will have a major power spline coming down here. We'll have a line of steam turbines up the top here, like like very much like this, exactly like that, in fact. Uh, and then we'll have a few more down here. The research reactor will be here. We'll have like radiation and maybe farming area under the radiation to get some mutated seeds. So yeah, a, a little bit of a dud project there, but we've got enough to get moving with and we, we do have another project to go on with that. But something that I wasn't so bad at up here, we've got ourselves the auto sweeper down. The conveyor rail is ready to go. I should, however, have looked up where sulfur is kept. No, it's not organic, of course. Maybe agricultural. Of, of course, miscellaneous. Where else would it be? Uh, and then the auto sweeper comes along, picks it up, puts it on the conveyor rail. Now, this is the thing. I'm going to actually stop this just at a couple of packets here. Uh, I want to know... Is this getting any warmer at all? We're, we're going to watch it through its entire journey here because the one thing we don't want is just to actually be melting the sulfur somewhere else. Uh, the, this this is actually solving the problem that this area is very hot and the sulfur keeps being dropped and uh, melted. So hot, in fact, that the uh, the door that I asked to be put down has, uh, has melted. Turns out I made it out of lead, which was a poor choice anyway. Uh, but any of the other great materials that I've got uh, are also not uh, really uh, temperature resistant. Okay, so the sulfur is still 22 degrees. This is probably going to be the area where it might warm up at uh, 23, 24. Uh, in fact, we're not ooh, 25. And then I think I think we're going to be fine. Uh, this area up here has seen some uh, some temperature fluctuations in the past though so let's just see make sure it's going to be fine the yeah, oxygen up here 30 degrees that's fine nowhere near the 100 we need to melt it okay that was that I think I'm going to declare as a full route that's beautiful we, we're, we're going to save our dupes some uh, some travel time but with the conveyor rail full and the load going, I'm afraid that is all the time that I've got for this episode. I'm going to see you guys next time where we're going to actually build the reactor in the correct place. Look into maybe some sort of other forms of a rocketry as well. But I will see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.